Hello all you spooky gamers out there, I'm Jules and welcome to Until Dawn. I am already scared, I have all the lights turned on, I am such a chicken shit. And I am a woman of my word because I promised all you beautiful gamers that I would suck it up and play horror games for October. And not only am I gonna play horror games for October, I'm gonna play them for all of winter too. That's how dedicated I am. That's how brave I am. I need more lights in here. I need more night lights. Everything needs a light on it. My mic needs a light on it. I don't actually know that much about Until Dawn other than the fact that it's scary and your actions have consequences within the game. And that terrifies me because I can barely make decisions in real life. Oh my gosh, I picked a bad time to record because I'm home alone. But I can do this because I am a brave noodle. Here we go. Let's get started. The butterfly effect. A tiny butterfly flapping its wings today may lead to a devastating hurricane, hurricane, hurricane weeks from now. The smallest decisions can dramatically change the future. Oh, that's not good. Your actions will shape how the story unfolds. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm in charge of everybody's fate. They're gonna have a bad time. Oh, your story is one of many possibilities. Who let me be in charge? Who let me do this? I cannot make decisions quickly. I panic, I will throw this controller. I need to stay hydrated or else I'll pass out from being scared. Are they gonna prank her? Mike? It's Hannah. Hey, Hannah. Hello, creepy guy watching from outside. Hey, did you see that? Dad said it'd just be us this weekend. Oh, gosh. Josh. So we're a bunch of young adults in a cabin in the middle of nowhere with some creepy guy outside. I'm so scared already. And there's dirty dishes in the sink. Ooh. And there's probably no cell service. I bet there's no cell service out here. It's one of those games. Okay. Hannah, you look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even hotter out of it. <laughs> Come to the guest room at 2 a.m. XXX Mike, your boy Mike. Oh, that poor girl. Like everyone knows that she has a crush on him and I bet they're gonna prank him. Oh my God. What did our naive sister get herself into now? That's your sister? Uh, oh, you need to go help her. Time. She needs to go help her sister because that is so mean. And if Mike's in on this, he's a huge jerk. Where am I going? Oh, 
Okay, it's empty. Everyone's been Jeez, drinking. Josh. Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. God damn it, Josh. When I need you the most. Glad you can make it. Oh no. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out. Oh, that's so mean. Goes from there. This went from a horror story to just Damn. sad. Oh my god. She's taking her shirt off. What? Oh my god. Matt? What are you doing here? Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. 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 You guys are jerks. You know that? Yeah, you guys suck. Hannah! I wouldn't go to a, a cabin in the middle of nowhere with a bunch of assholes. <laughs> oh, my sister! Uh... What do I do? What do I do, uh... Guys! I don't know what I did! Outside. I messed up! What the hell? I already made a bad decision! Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? <sighs> it's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. A shitty prank. What did you do? We were just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Don't mess with a girl's Hannah. heart! Hannah! I feel like I made the wrong decision. Should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now. Someone should come with me. Oh, no. Oh, shit. What am I doing? Square. Oh. Um, let's be safe. Let's be safe through the woods. I feel like I should have woke Josh up, my older brother. I feel like he would have came with me, and now I'm all by myself. I bet that creeps out here. Oh, crap. Follow the noise or follow the- I'm gonna follow the footprints. I feel like that's a better idea. Fuck some noise I heard. That's how people die. Oh, shit. Wrong kind of footprints, I guess. Yeah, you better run. Jesus. Fuck. Shit. Damn it, Hannah. Where are you? Poor Hannah. I feel bad for her. Okay, use my touchpad. Oh, nice. Okay. Hannah! Yeah, she might be up in the trees like a squirrel. Hannah! You up there gathering nuts? Oh, fucking birds. Piss off. Whatever the fuck that was, some kind of moose deer hybrid. Okay, walk faster, walk faster. <laughs> Making my way through the woods, scared of every fucking thing because it's dark. Hello? Oh crap. Maybe I should. Oh, what was that? What is that? Some kind of wood carving? Oh shit! Death totem? What? What's a death totem? Oh, it's a prophecy. The possible death of the person who finds it. How I die? Am I gonna die? Tribes believe that the butterflies brought dreams and premonitions. Each totem piece foretells a possible future event. How you play will determine whether or not these prophecies come true. Okay, well, I just guess I gotta make sure that prophecy doesn't happen. I hope it's not set in stone. Oh my god, I probably made the wrong decision when I didn't bring my goddamn older brother. Huh? Oh shit, what the hell is that? Is there someone out here breathing fire? Is there a dragon Hannah. in these woods? Hannah! If you could get out of the trees and stop blowing fire, that'd be great. What? 
the heck is that? What the hell was that? It won't let me check it out. Oh, I am freaking out. Oh shit, what is that? Is that Hannah. a person? Hannah, that fucking Hannah. better be you. Hello? Hannah. Oh my god, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. Oh. I'm such an idiot. No, you're not. So dumb. They're dumb. Oh, is the predator in these woods? Hannah, that's... <gasps> Well, at least I'm not alone now. My phone! Oh, crap. Jesus Christ. No! No! Shit! No! Get out! No! Oh, shoot! Oh man, did I already mess up? Hold on! Hold on! Oh! Uh, no, I, I don't want to let go. Uh, no, 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 let's, let's go together. If we're gonna fall, we're gonna fall together. prophecy said I picked wrong I didn't know what to do I wasn't gonna drop my sister what's happening before we begin there are a few things I need to make sure you understand you see no one can change what happened last year past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. Am I in therapy? But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. I'll try. I'll do my best. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary. It little is. terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. This is the first horror game I played that gives you a therapist right. to deal with it. We will start with a simple exercise. Thank you. Could you I please need pick up the card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. Uh... It is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Okay. Uh... I like my black creepy serial killer gloves. Okay. It reminds me where I live now. I actually live in the woods. I live in the middle of a bean field with corn all the way around me. So this is home for me. So how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. It makes me happy because I, I grew up on a farm. I still live on a farm. Yeah, it makes me happy. Oh, that's good. In what way did it make you happy? The barn's cute. Looks peaceful. Yeah, it does. It does look peaceful. Oh. Interesting. It's interesting. So, would it make you happy to spend the whole week here all by yourself? Well, I mean, yeah, because... I mean, I live alone with my husband, so... And he travels for work, so yeah, I, I can be here alone. Except for when I'm playing horror games. Huh. And what if I told you that this cottage was haunted? 
Nope, nope. I'm out. I'd be scared. Fuck that noise. I'm out. Oh, what lies beyond the veil of death is, after all, the ultimate unknown. And what could inspire fear more than the terror of uncertainty? Oh, I'm sorry we're out of time for this session. We'll talk again very soon. Well, this has been different. So he's gonna talk me through my feelings as I get further and further in the game. At least somebody's here for me. Oh yeah, I love this song. My husband sings this to me all the time. I love this song. Oh, what a great cover. Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. Listen, there's an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the They're Washington girls missing? left the safety of their parents' lives. I thought I died. Into a snowstorm. Didn't I die? Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. I saw my he head had an crack open. The Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Anne. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this. And that, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, you know, thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget. That's for, my bro. That's my bro, Josh. For the sake of my sisters, and, you know. Okay, so, let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! <laughs> I can't believe we're going back. I mean, I'm pretty sure his sisters died. Oh, good song. Good song!
I'd sing along, but I mean, when I sing, I make dogs bark. I wish my husband was here. He he sings this to me, and I love it. Josh's sisters, I think, died because I, I was there. I saw it happen. They cracked their skulls open. But they haven't found their bodies. I think it was an accident. I mean, I don't think the guy above the cliff was trying to hurt me. He reached his hand out. But who has a flamethrower in the wood? I take it back. That guy, he killed those girls. He was going to kill them anyway. That's probably him. I take it all back. Oh, my God. Everybody's going to die. Sam, Hannah's best friend, Oh, Sam, this must be hard for you. Coming back after so long. Hello? Someone there? Hello, creepy flamethrower guy. Come back to kill everybody. Finish the job. Okay. Who wears a skirt in winter? Not me, because I'm, I'm cold. I'm always cold. Oh. I like her hat though. She must be freezing though. Oh, a crow. Hello. Bye. The gate's busted. Climb over? No, I don't want to climb over. Oh, uh, what? I'm gonna try it anyway. Maybe it's a lie. Oh, Jesus, never mind. Well, that wouldn't be the first time I've been wrong. That's where I climb up. Uh, safety first. I'm all for safety. Ooh. Oh, God, I gotta oh, keep up on my toes. I'm so bad at that. Uh, climb? Yeah, I'm gonna- I'm gonna stay safe. Why would I- oh, oh, oh. oh my gosh, I'm gonna get everybody killed. Get myself killed. Oh. Why am I so bad at these quick time events? Gotta be quicker than that. You gotta want it. You gotta want to live. I like how it let me try again, though. It would have sucked if I would have fallen off that wall and busted my head open. One person's dead because of me. Did the murderer guy in the woods just heavy breathe at me? I can hear the heavy breathing intensify. Bella? You hungry? Huh? <laughs> Cutie. I was trying really hard not to move. I don't know if any squirrel that, that's that friendly. I live in the woods and all the animals hate me. I am not a Disney princess out here. Birds, you're not gonna jump scare me again. The butterfly prophecies. Black is for death. Red means danger. Brown is a loss. A tragedy affecting friends. That's terrible. Uh, yellow butterflies offer visions to help and guide. And white butterflies are for luck and good fortune. Oh, that's going to be hard to remember. But I just need to remember that black and red are very bad. Oh, another one! I didn't even see it! I'm gonna have to keep my eyes open for these, aren't I?
This one's yellow. Alright, yellow is a vision of guidance for a future choice. Okay, so I just have to remember that little bird. Okay, guidance. Gotta keep an eye out for a bird. No crows jump scaring me either. Gosh, who owns this? Beautiful out here. What's this? Wow, graffiti all the way up here. Oh, and they graffitied the map. The past is beyond our control. Well, gosh, is that true in this case? I bet everyone coming back here feels like shit after Josh's sisters died. Especially since it was kind of everyone's fault, but mine, because I'm the good friend. What am I looking for? Chris? You here? Hello. I don't want to go behind it, because I'm scared. I'm a scaredy baby. A backpack. Your bag's here. Where are you? You're not in the bag, are you? I don't think he'd fit in there. What do we have here? Do not answer his phone. That's rude. No, close the bag. No, I, I'm not a snooper. Oh! My actions Chris? affected Sam, something. Hey, you made it. Chris! Oh, someone has a crush on Ashley. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. Come oh, I didn't want to go back mind. there alone, so it worked out. It just looks creepy and not very well lit. What was that? Oh, man. A wanted this. poster. Mail, 6-2. Nice. I think we'll get a visit from America's Most Wanted. Looks like someone thought so. Oh, oh, I bet that murderer's still out here. here. Comes up here. Are you sure, Christopher? Ta-da! Pretty rad, right? Yeah! Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. What am Why I looking at? Even here? What do you mean? What the hell is a shooting range doing? It's a gun range? Uh, nice, dude. Have you noise. Ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Try That's it. how my husband is. Uh, now you go ahead we have a gun range in our backyard. All right. Here goes. Oh, shoot. Is this going to be a quick time thing? Because I am so bad at those. Uh. What do I do? I can't aim this! Wow, I'm so sad about how long it took me to do that. Oh. Bam! Yeah. Oh. I'm getting better. I need more practice, though. Wow, nice shooting tits. Alright, I'm bad. I'm a badass. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. No, I don't think so, girl. Uh... Does it matter which one I shoot first? Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Aww. I'm not shooting that squirrel. No, it is adorable. Uh, I will shoot this bag, the sack of flour or whatever it is. <laughs> nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> oh, nice. He knows he has puns. Hey, sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. I think if I would have shot that squirrel, like, something bad would have happened. It was so cute. Why would you shoot it? Shoot, that's not what shooting reins are for. Definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Someone finally said it. It is awkward. All came flooding back. Here goes fast. Oh, I thought I was still playing as Sam. I'm playing as Chris now. Hey, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah. Uh, 
Josh wanted us to keep it locked, to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. That is creepy. I guess I'll unlock the door. After you. Oh, real gentleman. I should look around while Ashley admires everything. And I thought the car was closer. Guess we gotta wait. A hmm, little bit of history there. What a crazy place to set up house. Right? No matter how rich you are. They're not so rich. They only bought a mountain. Oh yeah, that's not rich at all. What's this? Is that a bathtub? A security camera that points directly at someone's bathtub. Anything else you're gonna skip to? Any more bathtubs you wanna look at? Hmm. I thought I heard the cable car come, but I am still nosing around. Finally, you coming? Yeah, well, I was gonna stay here and catch some Z's, but. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I don't know, I've kind of been worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. I hope so, too. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. Thanks, brother. Hell yeah. You know what? Let's just. It's let's awkward. Just talking about what happened. And but hell yeah. Uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so. So I got moved to the back. And Interesting and story. Next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone, right now, or or talking to some other person. Like entirely. the butterfly effect. Boom. Butterfly effect. Yeah! Oh, that's so cool. So cool that they mentioned it in the game. I love that. It's Jess, Mike's new girlfriend. Isn't Mike the one Hannah had a crush on? Okay, okay. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. You can do it. Okay, now I'm playing as Jess. Oh, what the hell? Jess, hey! Jessica, over here! Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Well, I said please. Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. This is all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Hey! <laughs> well, 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 what do we have Chris. here? Chris! Yeah, my Chris. goodness! 
Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Come on, Chris. Give that back. Maybe I should just explain. Yeah. Mike and M Split were together. Whoa. Drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Oh. Come on, Chris. I didn't touch your cell phone. It's not nice to touch people's stuff. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? I mean, you know, whoever. Uh huh. Sam? Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. It is pretty, but it's also very spooky. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge like right where the cable car ends? Oh, Emily, Mike's ex. Okay, I see the see the see the drama now. I don't think it would have been like as pretty. Matt, Emily's new boyfriend. That's my husband's name. Hi, Matt. And where's the bellboy when you need one? Aw, oh, my sweet Matt. You're my favorite, because you have my husband's name. I'm gonna take care of you, baby. I'll make sure you survive this. <sighs> Getting chills. We're almost there. I might not be able to save everyone, but I'm gonna make sure oh. Matt lives. I'm gonna do everything in my power. It's weird seeing everyone up here again. Definitely not gonna feel like a regular party. I mean, what do you think? Ah! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Dang, Mike! Oh, not cool. <laughs> you guys. Michael! You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. Yeah. Love the woods. It's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. Oh. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? Just yeah, someone died. Mood, Two people. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. I get why you broke up. I'm not gonna threaten him. No, Mike's like my husband. He's a good dude. We're all friends here. Michael. I'm just gonna lay it out. Otherwise, this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just it uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Matt. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't want to make this weird. Cool. So we're good? All good. Yeah, we're good. You guys gonna make out now? Oh yeah. my god, totally. Bromance. So gonna make out? Uh, no. Seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car back down the trail. Right. See you, man. See ya. Right. See ya. See ya. See ya, one wanna be a Mike. Mike, 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 Mike. Oh, crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, just all the bags. Uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up Aww. there. I just really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. I bet she wants to tell Sam sorry. Okay, you can go, yeah. Matt gives me space. My husband gives me space. All right. He trusts Fine. me. I'm going to trust her. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. But you owe me one. She sounds Excuse sincere. Me? Well, the more even, at least. I'll think about it. <laughs> Just be careful. See you up there, sweetie. Thank you. Aw, she did sound sincere, though. Like, she really wants to talk to Sam. Probably to apologize for what happened last year and make it less awkward. Like, sorry what I did to your friend, I feel bad about it. Because people are capable of change. <gasps> Ashley has a crush on Chris. Chris has a crush on Ashley! And they don't know that they love each other! Aww! That's so cute. Okay, what am I looking at? Snow and more snow. There's a tree. What the? Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. 
I'm oh. not in the friend zone kind I of I thought way. she was going to talk to Sam. You need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. Oh, this is awkward. They're just talking, though. I, I don't see them kissing or doing anything inappropriate. Sounds like they're just talking it out. I don't want to be rude. Oh! Oh, hey, whoa. Fudge and dog! Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to. I have a pacemaker! I did mean to scare you. Why am I doing this? But not like for real. Scare you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hey, wow. Man, I'm really sorry, Ash. Damn. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Man, you're lucky you have my husband's name and you're cute. Uh. Let me check it out. No, no, no. Oh, God. No, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to lie to them, but they're not doing anything. They, they, I didn't see him kissed, you know, I don't want to start nothing. I trust her. I mean, oh, man, I hate making decisions. I really do. I'm going to say it's busted. I didn't see nothing. Yeah, it's kind of busted. It's not, it's not like really interesting. It's just. They were just talking. What? She'll probably go talk to Sam really? soon. I or I could find, like, later. Or later. chowing down on a fox or something. Oh, uh, no. No. Uh, no, really, Matt? It's not worth straining your eyes. I'm getting kind of a headache just from looking through it, so just no. No. All right. Uh, sure. My you poor sweet so. Matt. We have to protect Matt. We're protecting Matt. Oh, Matt. My sweet Matthew. I will protect you, you sweet child. I think I've been making the right decision so far. Except for when Hannah and her sister died. Uh, what should I do? I guess I'll check my phone. <gasps> oh, you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see. Oh. We've got you surrounded. Oh no. But who am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? Well, uh, run. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> oh, Think. quick time. Crap. Zinger. Got you harder than that, hero. Aw. <laughs> Just me and my boyfriend having Where a snowball I fight. Oh, I don't want to hit him. Oh, what is a snowball fight? Wham! Oh, ah, I'm so hi. bad at aiming. Hey, it's hard with this controller. Oh snap! I feel like this would be easier to play on PC than on PS4. Hello, come on. <laughs> hey, Mike. Boom! Mike, 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 Mike! Oh. Okay. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's the bird. Sometimes doing nothing is the right thing to do. Me, Michael. I know all your tricks. I am not hitting that bird. I'm not hitting that bird. No, no. Okay, I think I made the right decision. Walk. Wow. Yeah. Right. And then what? Oh. No more. Oh, oh yeah, oh more. I like the oh, music. You're going down. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Oh, Done. how romantic. So oh. did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. They're gonna <laughs> kiss. You'd know so if I did. Oh, they're gonna smooch. All right. All right. My my. So are we calling it my favor then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. It does. Lady. He said, my lady. No, I'm out. Uh, kiss him, kiss him, kiss him. Oh, they're gonna do it. I'm Cupid. I hope I'm making right decisions. Wow. Save some for later, buddy. Endless reserves. <gasps> we should get up to the lodge. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty <laughs> breathtaking. She really I mean, plays a horror game and here. she picks all Pretty the dirty stuff. Ever picks all the romance parts. Making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. I know what they're gonna do later. Mm-hmm. I know what they're up to.
I really like this game so far. It has its moments where it's really sweet. And I think I'm making really good decisions so far besides those two sisters dying. Sorry, Josh. The game is definitely going easy on me. I feel like the more I play, the harder it's gonna get and the more I'm gonna have a heart attack and it's gonna be super scary. I think this is a good stopping point because I am all out of time for today. Thank you all so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave me a comment down below because I love hearing from all of you. And stay tuned because like I said, I'm gonna be playing horror games all through fall and winter because I make terrible decisions. <laughs> I'm gonna keep all the lights on in my house, but thank you all so much for watching and I will see all of you in my next video. Bye guys!